NAB 2018, Jeffrey Powers, we're here with Travis at New Blue FX. We're going to be yep. talking about your newest version coming out very soon. That's right. There's some really cool features uh, that you'll definitely want to check out next. Well, yeah. well let's start out with um, uh, this graphic right here. You'll notice that it has these glints going by that are looping, right? Okay. This is a live animated graphic. In fact, uh, if I just uh, go out here... Play it out, play it back in, you see all these different elements come in. Yeah. Now, if you want to uh, change uh, one of the elements, let's say you want to say Geekazine, or in this case, let's say New Blue, hit enter, we get an update, and now that one element animated Has update. Changed, so, yeah. so the concept here is if you have seven lower thirds that you need for your show, or however many lower thirds, you don't need to make seven graphics. Yeah. It's one graphic just with the data that you need right now. And you can change it on the screen rather than through a form. Yeah, right on right on the screen. Now, awesome. that, that's just the title getting the, the screen stuff right there. Now okay. we can switch to a different title that's driven by a CSV, for example. Okay. So uh, we'll jump down here, and we'll go to our CSV reader. And here's the uh, CSV that I've imported, different names. So now I click a line in that CSV, you see that the image for the player, the player's name, the subtitle, all reanimated. Okay. Uh, so those, those are all independent as well. Okay. So imagine it's a, you know, a graduation, you have 500 names, right? Yeah. You have one title, um, you know, all, all the lines that you need to really make that animate update. is really That's powerful. And uh, in, in this version 3, we've augmented even more the, our, um, our CSV reader. Okay. This is a, like a stat page. Okay. Uh, let's say this is your lecture series or the topics you're talking about. Yeah. You can actually click off line by line or even cell by cell reveal the data that you want to do. Okay. That's another real powerful way of managing the different information that's going into your graphic while it's already live. So yeah, so I can say, oh, you can talk, I can stop on double faults and, and talk about that for a, a little bit yeah. without letting people know the first serve percent coming up. <laughs> right. So, uh, or your lecture series, this is the topic Oh, yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, the topic so now. Yeah. I'm, I'm just using what you have there for, uh, for it, reference. Exactly. So. And, and, and lastly, uh, just uh, for today, we'll, sh we'll show a, a score really bug. Really quick, before, you, oh, before yeah. we go there, going back to the CSV, can I change the graphic and still have the same, be at the exact same spot then, or? Uh, change the graphic and be the same spot in what sense? Yeah, let, let, let's say I decide, oh, I don't like the blue, I want red. Uh -huh. um, and I, so I create a red version of that, the set summary using the same CSV file. Um, right. If I hit the, if I hit the red button, will I still be at the where it's at unforced errors and not break point one? Well, the great thing is is that any number of these titles in your playlist can be all pointing to the same data source. Okay. So in this case, it's a CSV is the data source, you know, and so if your data source hasn't changed, if your settings in your data source haven't changed, every one of those graphic iterations that you intend to use okay. will be getting that. Okay. So, okay, cool. so that's a really cool. powerful thing to do. Awesome. Let's let's move on. Uh, so, so then, scoreboard. Yeah. So a scoreboard. Here's another example of a control. So here we have a basketball situation. We can get. Uh, let's say. Let's set up the clock. I'll just put like a 12 seconds on it, and go. And right there, you have a clock a animating. Uh, so what you'll see with this particular one is a demonstration of each character. I mean, so if you see that wink animation that's happening. Yeah. So you're not just stuck to these hard cut situations. You can have uh, unique animations happening and even with a clock situation. Can I do a clock up, uh, time up? Yeah, you can do well? time up, time down, depending on okay. the tool you're using. We have a generic clock input, okay. but this one is, uh, you know, for basketball, which is a time down kind of situation, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, uh, and we can, you know, change some of the scores. Now, the great thing is, is this is nothing but an HTML page with JavaScript. Okay. And it uses our API. So if you have a, a custom situation, a custom need, let's say you're doing a game show or doing something unique, you can actually make up your own controllers wow. with HTML JavaScript. You got a buddy or you know how to do that yourself, yeah. you can engage our API and you can make your own edit fields, own buttons, own play commands and drive our engine. Okay. Yeah, so for, for the more advanced or unique user that has a very specific need, yeah. you can control this just how you, way you want it. And a lot more, a lot more uh, control. You have the social control. You have the oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all the other stuff which we've talked about in the past. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we won't get into that. But the, the, uh, you can turn your whatever live stream you have full control of what you see and how you see it uh, simply by doing this. And this doesn't have to be on the same computer as it like your not. Wirecast Pro has. 
So the other cool thing that you have there is now the USB integration with certain products. I have the Elgato. X keys is a, is a big thing. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of these streaming services are now working with X keys on this. Exactly. So let's exactly. let me let's tilt this down a little bit so we can see what we've got here. So show us a little bit about that. Okay. Yeah. So the X keys here. We don't have the printouts yet here. Okay. Uh, but you can see that. Uh, click this one button right here, and we got a graphic come up into the screen. Okay. And then you want another graphic? You click another button and you get that second graphic coming in. Okay. So uh, it turns in very powerful. Now uh, what you can also do is let's say we'll clear all. Okay. And we'll go into uh, a multi mode. Okay. Do it on the Elgato because we got the we got the buttons. The, oh sure thing. The, the map the button. You can actually see the, the images on the buttons. Exactly, yeah, in the in the Elgato stream yeah. deck. The, the so we have and, and these are these are thumbnails. You have to you have to put them into like a editor, save them as a JPEG. No. Oh no? No. All you do is plug in your USB of your Stream Deck, okay. load up the project you have. Okay. We generate the thumbnails. Nice. We stuff them down in the Stream Deck. Can I can I use that? Because I use this with Wirecast. Can I use that where half of them are Wirecast but scene buttons and the other? At half present, are, no. That's something we're doing. That's that, something that, you're that, yeah, okay. the Wirecast is not doing. So okay. Um, but so you can see this. these unique thumbnails really showing what the graphics are. Okay. And now I go ahead and play in one graph. Uh, play in one graphic. It hasn't gone live yet. Okay. It's yellow, meaning that it's ready to go, but yeah. it's still listening. And now I want to bring in a second graphic. Now I have two graphics that are ready to go. This is the multi mode that okay. we're talking about now. And then finally, hold on, hold on. When I hit this button, hit that button, both of them come in. That is awesome. And now let's say you know what? I'm done with my lower third, but I want my bug to stay up. Okay. I arm the lower third to get ready to go out, and then hit go out, the bug stays up, the other guy came in, how I set awesome. that up, so. That, that, is, that is sweet, and that, that'll yeah. definitely change production because one man shops like myself can actually do this instead yeah. of having like a full production crew, but if you're in a situation where you can have somebody sitting there at, at the buttons, they can, they can flip it and you can give them an easy Easy setup through the uh, X X keys or the Elgato. That's right. Uh, that's right. Deck there, so awesome features. I love the the USB support with the Elgato and the X keys. I love the fact that you can bring in the CSV and see yeah. it like a CSV yeah. file. And I love the fact that you can put it on another computer and then uh, and then have that separate so it doesn't tax your main machine for your, for your switcher yeah. or if you're using a TriCaster or anything like that. Right. Right. So, Amazing stuff. Tell us a little bit about uh, when it's available and uh, where to find it. Where to find it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, end of this month. So before the month is out here in May, or um, we're up April. <laughs> so if you're watching in August, it's already out. <laughs> exactly. <Simple as> that. <laughs> uh, and you can find more information at newbluefx.com. Newbluefx.com. All right. right. And of course, you have some other products too. Really quickly, yes. you've got the uh, Tyler Live uh, or Tyler what? Tyler Pro. Tyler Pro. So Tyler Pro is all the same design stuff. This is really cool. So Tyler Pro works in all the post-production editors okay. out there. You know, we ship with every Avid and works in Premiere and, and all the different editors. And the same designs that you can use in live, you can bring to post or vice versa. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and also here at the show, we're uh, launching the Fusion Box, which is a turnkey solution for our Tyler Live solution. And that's what we were watching on when, when we had the demonstration going. Exactly. So, all right. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you very much, Travis, for all your time. Uh, thank you. Great stuff. I can't wait. We'll definitely get uh, a copy in, in Production House so we can review it and, uh, and go from there. So Jeffrey Powers, NAB 2018. we got a lot of videos, so go over to geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification for the next video, and then when it's out, you know, it'll be there. So uh, thanks again to Travis, and until next time, you guys geek out.